What's up, nerds? It's time for a, a sweet, epic, hot and spicy video on free-for-all in Black Ops 3. So, let's get right into it with the class setup. So the class setup I'm using is the Razorback with suppressor, uh, extended mags, with a whole bunch of essential perks that you'll need, which are Ghost, Fast Hands, Scavenger, you'll need Awareness, and also Dead Silence so that you won't hear your own footsteps, which is really annoying. So the reason I use Scavenger is to pick up more ammo, uh, so I don't have to pick up other guns on the battlefield, and that takes a lot more time. And, and then also I use Fast Hands to, so I can raise my gun faster and stuff like that. And also I use Ghost so I can stay off people's mini-maps. And the reason that I use Suppressor and Extended Mags is so I can stay in the fight longer with shoot more bullets and so I can stay off other people's mini-maps. So, first engagement here was caught me off guard. I had no idea that he was coming at all because I couldn't hear him. Then second one, I kind of heard him when he came through the door, so that was a little bit better of an engagement for me. Now I'm just kind of waiting for someone to pop up on my screen, and then he does. This guy has no idea. I think he's blind or something, but he walked right past me, and then this guy just got absolutely destroyed. Um, next, uh, get the UAV up in the air so I can see everyone, checking corners, always aim down sights when you're coming around a corner because your weapon will already be up and out before they can even raise their gun to sights. So you'll have a huge advantage by aiming down sights around corners. So you want to save your specialist for a really clutch moment or like when you're going between spawn traps or something like that. So keep it when you're in transit between uh, spots and locations. So right now I'm running through the middle so I'm activating my camo when I'm running through a dangerous area that people could come up behind me just in case. Another great way to prevent someone from sneaking up behind you is dead silence which I'm already taking advantage of. Dead silence allows you to hear people when they come up behind you you can hear their footsteps and stuff so you can prevent someone from getting behind you. It's pretty dangerous running through middle I don't uh, advise that at all running through the middle of any map. So just running around and holding down an area is key. I also just stole that guy's kill, and then stealing stealing kills is essential in free-for-all if you want to like get points very, very quickly. Make sure to stay a good distance away from spawns as well so that people can spawn freely there so you don't mess up the spawns and then you can't kill anyone as efficiently. Stealing kills is very key because it makes people mad and tilt all the time, so because you're killing two people right, right here, do it again. Kill steal. This is where the hater comes in, waiting for a safe place to activate it, and now I can see everyone on the map perfectly. See that someone spawns behind me, go quickly take him out. Perfect, stunned. I didn't know if he was coming around the corner or not, so I prone. And then jump around the corner. He didn't look like he knew what he was doing at all, so I give him a little, uh, give him a little break there. He almost takes me down. So glad that he didn't right there. He had a little bit of potato shots. Then he spawns. Really unfortunate spawn for him. I should have activated this UAV later when the hater wasn't on so that I could have surveillance for longer, which is a mistake on my part uh, for just being just ahead of, ahead of myself, basically. Um, so I see this engagement, another kill steal opportunity. Go hit that guy and then hit the other guy. See how I'm doing that over and over and over again? It just gets me more and more points. Activating kinetic when going, er, not kinetic, active camo. Take him down. And then also, right here, I start to slip up a bit because I miss a lot of shots on this guy right here. I got really worried, so I just started playing really defensively, which is a mistake on my part because it's really not great to play defensive. I just ran into him missing a lot of shots right now, getting really stressed at my 22 and 0 uh, score right now. Basically running around in spawn, uh, not really doing a whole lot or accomplishing anything. So I try to take this guy down. He steals my kill, so I get really worried. I don't want to attempt to uh, get him when he has an AR, which is outranging me at that distance. And then earlier, I should have pushed that guy and cut him off earlier uh, through the door next to the jungle. 
So this right here, I just spent way too much time in spawn. I mean, I pick up one kill, but that's pretty much it, because no one else spawns when you're in spawn yourself. Also, yeah, don't stay in spawns. So, right here, find a safe place to reload, waiting for footsteps or something, got that guy, got the hater, turn around, and I miss all the shots, and then he takes me down. So this is just, I lost all my shots, and I was being really, really... Uh, defensive, which was kind of my downfall right there. So, this is pretty much the the end of the video. I finish off this game pretty strong with 30 and 1. Um, basically, things to note from this video is you definitely need to have the right class setup and uh, use your use your specialist ability to its maximum. Especially if you're using active camo, you know, use it between spawn traps and stuff like that. Um, and also, just keep your keep your ears open, get a headset or something, and then uh, have the right kill streaks as well. So uh, it's been uh, Poet Justice. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. It wouldn't require a cleaner to take you out. A janitor would suffice.